Hi guys, this is uh, my computer that I was having issues uh, with the BitLocker uh, and what exactly happened was I had created a BitLocker so nobody can get into my hard drive and then I end up losing the USB drive that I had created to unlock my bit drive and uh, I lost the code uh, that it generated for me. So I was, uh, you know, at a pickle that I wasn't able to log into my computer. Um, you know, at that time I didn't really had a choice to restore all my files because once you lose your BitLocker key, not much you can do. <clears throat> so in this case, uh, what I end up doing was formatting the entire computer. Uh, and uh, the only way you can get rid of the BitLocker key is either you format everything in, in the hard drive. There are tricks that I'm going to be showing you today, how I end up managing that. Um, and uh, the next thing, what you have to do is just install a new operating system. So for it to get into the DOS menu or the MS-DOS, what you need to do is uh, there is a volume button right there and this is a power button so you hold on to the lower volume and then you press the power now for what you're doing right now is you're forcing your computer to boot from the usb drive now this usb has been flashed with the windows 10 operating system uh, which is basically like a bootable drive now that's going to be another video of how to make that bootable drive there's a lot of other videos available online as well that you can see it's fairly easy process just download it uh, from microsoft website and then you can create that bootable uh, drive basically so i already have this uh, windows 10 bootable drive and uh, i'm going to hold on to the lower power button lower volume button and then press the power and keep holding on until you see the surface and then let it go. So as soon as you see the surface, you let it go and let it boot up. And now what it's doing is, is booting that Windows operating system right from here. So it's not gonna care what's inside, it's gonna boot everything from the USB drive. And then you're gonna get this mouse and then all you need to do is click next and you don't want to click install now. What you want to do is uh, repair your computer. And then you go to troubleshoot. And here you're going to get the command, command prompt. And this is where you're going to start the decoding process or the next step that I'm going to show. And when you're in the DOS menu, the first command that I put was disk part um, right here. So once I did the disk part, it kind of gave me this and it selected the disk part. The second one I did list disk. And once I did this, it showed me the two disks that I had, the 119 GB and the 14 GB. Then I did disk uh, select disk zero. The reason I did select say disk zero is because this is the one with the bigger size, 119 GB. So most likely this is the one that is have the windows uh, installed on there. And once you select that disk, the biggest is disk, you know, in case if yours is disk one is the bigger one, then select that one. So now disk zero is selected in my case. Then I did list volume. And once I did this, now over here, you have to do the exact same thing. You have to find out which one is the biggest one. So in my case, 118 GB is on volume one. So one, volume one is 118 GB. So over here, what I did was select volume one. So now volume one is selected. And then what you need to do is type in command delete volume override. And then it will, the disk part successfully deleted the volume uh, message will show up. So now it's ready for me to go back into the Windows version and then delete that. So I'll show you the next step now. So now all I have to do is just type in exit. And uh, you'll see leaving this part. And now I can go ahead and close this. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the PC. And then you have to do the exact same thing. Hold on to the lower volume. And this is how you boot up with the USB drive. Hold on to the bottom one. Press this. And then as soon as you see surface, you let your hand go. Now, as you can see, it's pulling from the USB.
okay so now you get this and this is running from the USB click on install okay accept click next I'm gonna do the custom install so over here I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the rest of these delete delete and delete so now you can see this and now I'm going to click on new and apply to ensure the Windows feature works Windows might create additional partitions and click OK there you go so now it created a whole new partition right and now you can see there is no restriction on this anymore because it's so now if I want if you want you can go ahead and format that click next and now it's installing the Windows operating system onto that drive and uh, just go through the normal procedure of how to install the Windows and now we're not gonna do that process of holding it and rebooting from the USB because the whole process is going to restart so this is the installation so let it do the installation leave your USB in okay so it's getting ready and it may restart a few times so just let it restart let it do its thing you'll finally get this just a moment and now you're getting close and there it is your windows is installed and there's no bit locker and i'm just gonna go ahead and restart this one and we can go ahead and remove the drive so now we just have your surface pro rebooting there it is no password nothing and everything is working good so this is how you get rid of the UFID uh, password or if you have a bit locker that is uh, on any computer. And guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.